What's up guys, this is Grant, the founder of CartFab.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find the volume of your cylinder head or your combustion chamber, also known as CCing your head. So let's go check it out. The first step is to get the right tools for the job. This is a Class A bubble burette, and I have a link in the description for that. Then what goes in the burette is isopropyl alcohol, which won't damage or rust your cylinder head if there's any steel in it. Then you use some grease to seal this next piece to your cylinder head. This next piece right here is a small piece of plexiglass or Lexan, and you just drill a small hole in it. Then the last piece is a bubble burette holder, so you can accurately measure your cylinder head volume. What we're going to do next is fill the bubble burette with the isopropyl alcohol. You just dump it in the top of the burette with the burette check valve closed and you fill it all the way up to the zero. Now notice I overfilled this and there's bubbles coming up. That's not a big deal at all. You just want to make sure it's past the zero line. Then the meniscus or the bottom of that bubble line it up with that zero mark right on the spot. The next step is to make sure your cylinder head is completely in the condition that it's going to be running in, meaning spark plug is installed as well as valves are installed so you can accurately measure the volume. Now you just take your piece of plexiglass and push it onto the cylinder head with that grease in there to help seal it up. The final step here, which is the most important part, is to get all of the isopropyl alcohol into the head without overfilling, underfilling and having bubbles, or spilling it somewhere else. That's why the bubble burette holder is so important to have because you can use one hand to manipulate your head and the other to control the flow. Now that your cylinder head is full, check the meniscus or the bottom of that bubble. We're at 28.2, which is different from what a chart would say. That is how to determine your combustion chamber volume. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you guys do and it helps spread the word. Also, let me know in the comments below what you're working on. Remember, if you're determining the combustion chamber volume for one cylinder, you only have to do it once. But if you have a V-twin, you've got to do it twice. If you've got a four banger, four times. Remember, if you do any work on your cylinder head and you're trying to balance everything out, all of the combustion chambers need to match exactly. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check the links in the description for the parts I used here, and we'll catch you in the next one.